Hi appliance fans, I'm Doug from Aggressive Appliances. Last week we blogged about the Gaganel coffee machine and this week we're going to show you how it works. Gaganel has been making this coffee machine for quite a few years, probably seven or eight years now. It's been upgraded with some new trim on it, but it's really the old machine that we've had for a very long time. Tried and true. We love it because of its simplicity and its reliability. It is a very good machine. No, it doesn't have all these new fancy electronic features and high-tech frothing carafe systems that some of the new machines have, but the simplicity and the better price more than makes up for it. You use this machine by putting water in this tank here. We fill it from a filtered faucet, but you could put a filter in there. It's ready for that. You put a whole one-pound bag of coffee beans in there. And if you want to, there's a bypass for ground coffee. If you want to make a decaf after hours or make a flavored coffee, you can do that with coffee grounds in the bypass lid. Real simple to use. This powers it up, and when you've got your settings right, you hit the cafe button to make a cup. This adjusts your size. We have several sizes from an extra, extra large through an espresso. And if you go past this, you start with two small espressos all the way through down to your double extra, extra large. You'll notice here there are two spouts. You can actually put two cups in there and make two at the same time. This adjusts your strength. We have six strength settings uh, from very mild all the th way through very strong. We're going to make a cappuccino. This will dispense hot water, make a cocoa or a tea with the uh, hot water dispenser, or it will dispense steam. And with the steam, we can froth our milk. Uh, there is a little bit of residual water left in there, so every time you turn on the frother, it dribbles just a bit. So I like to catch that with a paper towel. And then when it's all done, I'll have a wet, warm paper towel. I can wipe the milk off of my frothing wand. Here it comes. There's our dribble. So I'm going to turn this off put the cup up into the wand and give it a few seconds it'll build its head of steam any second now almost here there we go And there's a cup of frothy milk. Now it's got a little milk on the wand, so I'm going to blow just a little bit that was in the tip out. Then I'm going to use that little bit of a wet paper towel to wipe off my wand. Now this just unscrews and comes right off. So if you forget to wipe that, you can take it to the sink the next day, even though you may have dried on milk. Now, with most machines, it would put a shot of espresso on top because it's an all automated process, but I like a little more coffee. So I'm going to set it for coffee. And I'm going to set it for strong, and we're going to press the coffee button. Right now, it is grinding the beans. Now it's going to pack the beans, just like the guys at the fancy coffee shops do. And now it's pressure brewing. I'll lower this a little bit so we don't get splatters. And there's our coffee coming into our cappuccino. This machine was $29.49 just a few weeks ago. We bought several of these. We've got them for $19.99. This does need to be built in. I am aware of some guys that use this on a countertop. You can make that work. It's not as pretty on the outside. But if you've got the cabinet space to, to build it in, great. This is a machine for you. Optionally, we have a cup warmer because you do not want to put cold, hot coffee in a cold cup. So the cup warmer is a great option as well. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful?